begin by safely jacking up and supporting your car. If you need assistance with this, please see the link at the end of this video. With the car safely off the ground, you will need to remove the engine tray. There are six 8mm bolts holding the tray on. The rear two also help hold the transmission tray. If you're going to leave the transmission tray on, remove the rear two bolts first, lower the engine tray, and reattach the transmission tray bolts. Then remove the remaining four bolts on the engine tray. With the tray removed, you will be able to see and access both the drain plug, green arrow, and the sensor, red arrow. On the rear of the oil pan, you will find the 13 millimeter drain plug, red arrow. Use a wrench and remove it. Remember, the oil may be hot coming out of the motor, so make sure you don't burn yourself and try not to drop the drain plug in the container you are using to catch the oil. Always dispose of motor oil according to the regulations where you live. Most oil chain shops and your neighborhood parts store will take your old oil and filter to be recycled properly. Never pour your used motor oil in a drain, in the street, or in the ground. Once the oil has emptied, reinstall the drain plug with a new crush washer. Yellow arrow. On the bottom right side of the oil pan is the oil level sensor. It is recessed up in the pan to help protect it from damage. There is a single electrical plug going into it. Squeeze the connector in and pull the plug out. Take care when unplugging it as it can get brittle. Use an E10 torque along with an extension and remove the three E10 torque bolts. With the bolts removed, wiggle the sensor out of the engine. If the sensor is working but just leaking, install a new gasket. If you are replacing the sensor, it should come with a new gasket installed. Clean the area around the sensor opening well. It needs a clean surface so it can sit flush against the pan and not leak. Installation is the reverse of removal. Now you must refill your engine with 8.5 quarts of oil. Again, you might as well change your oil filter now as you're about to put in all new fresh oil. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.